Hey beautiful people, Ryan Hamer here. Today we're gonna quickly talk about push limits. What's your push limit? A push limit is just my coin phrase for if you have a credit card, how far can you push it when it's over the limit? Now, let me preface this video by saying that it's always important to have good and responsible fiscal financial management you have to be a good steward of your credit cards and or line of credits. Credit is a privilege. It is not a right. Now that my little lecture is over, sometimes you may be caught in the meantime, in between time. You're caught in a pinch where you need to pay a bill or you might need money or something like that, or you need to buy something and you know that your card is close to being maxed, is maxed, or will be maxed. And you might have a pre-authorized payment that's coming out or you really just need to use your credit card for whatever the transaction is. And you may or may not be aware of what your push limit is because it's a, it's not particularly advertised and it is kind of frowned upon if you use your, your card over the limit because it, it, it then counts towards a contributing factor of your credit mix with regards to your, your utilization and your credit score. So you always want to make sure that you stay under the limit, but life happens. So you're going to have situations in which you need to use your card or you got stuff coming off and you are going to be over the limit. So typically, in my experience, I've seen 10% in excess of your balance, uh, but it varies from card to card, issuer to issuer, and it may be something you need to confer with your credit card issuer about. It is really helpful to get you out of a bind if you have that ability on your credit card. Now, they don't always tell you what you can do. They don't always advertise that stuff because they don't want people maxing out their cards and not being able to pay it back and or not being able to pay it the minimum payment or, yeah, because if you're pushing it, then that shows you need credit. And we all know that they're more up to give you money if you look like you don't need it. Weird how that works, huh? But anyhow. Make sure that if you are going to be using your credit card over the limit, pay it back, pay it down as soon as you possibly can so that it's not hovering over the that over limit. You're most likely going to get spanked with a fee. It sometimes can be $25 or more depending on the issuer. And that means if you are over the limit, as soon as you go over the limit, even if it's a penny, you're paying you're paying a $25 fee for that. So it kind of sucks. You, you always want to make sure you stay under the limit because it's just not worth it unless you're spending some, unless you're going to be paying whatever you're spending is, is the equivalent or more of $25 because yeah, it doesn't make sense to spend $25, spend less than $25 to pay $25. But if you need something, you need something, as I always say. So why this is important, uh, it's important so that you know how to utilize your cards effectively when you're in a situation in which you need to use a card. Some cards will provide you with that option. A lot of cards won't. Also depends on the financial institution, the the uh, the card itself, capabilities of the card, really. Some, some cards won't allow you to do that. Some cards won't even allow you to do a cash transaction off of it, to pull cash off the card. Remember, whenever you pull cash, off of your credit card, you are going to incur different types of interest, like a higher rate of interest, and maybe even a fee on that if you do that. It is good to know you can utilize your card and maybe transfer funds between your bank accounts. If it's a, say, a, a one of the, if it's a bank credit card, if you need to transfer funds between accounts, you can pull that from your card and then initiate a transfer over to another account. And yes, it acts the same as a cash advance, so you're gonna pay on that. You're gonna to have to pay uh, interest on that and maybe a fee potentially, depending. So this information is important and valid for somebody who is in a situation in which they need to know if they can utilize a card or how will it affect them or what have you. So keep in mind, that you don't want to overdo it. Keep in mind that you want to pay back and pay down your credit card to lower your utilization as soon as you possibly can. I hope you found this information helpful. Uh, push limits can be your friend or they can be your worst enemy. So 
as I always say, use wisely. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.